Yo, what's happening? What's happening, y'all? This your boy DJ Mason, motivation for DJs, bringing it to you like I always do. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to everybody checking me in. Shouts out to all the new followers and everybody that be liking the, um, the videos and everything. Yo, I truly appreciate that. Yo, so with this video right here, what I'm going to be telling you about is something that's so important that so many DJs forget that they even have to do it or they don't even acknowledge that it's a part of the DJ game. <clears throat> it's crazy. Basically, yo, it's sales. Sales, sales, sales. How do you sell? That's the two, you know, it's two sides to DJing. It's two. That's what I end up realizing after years and years of becoming a DJ. It's two sides to DJing, not just one. The first side is is music of course you got to know your music you got to stay on the hottest stuff you got to know the old stuff you got to know what's really going to keep the crowd good but the second thing is is sales <laughs> sales sales that's the second thing people don't even don't even focus on right there you know they're so focused on the music and everything you have to learn how to sell yourself and how to actually sell your services you know i'll tell you in my in my experience I had to learn that, um, not the hard way, but you know, I was always already knowing how to sell. When I started off DJing, when people would ask me about DJing or whatever, I didn't even put a contract together. I'd just be like, "It's a hundred dollars, it's one twenty-five, something like that," because I, I really didn't even know the, I didn't know the business of it all at all. Then when I finally moved to Atlanta, it was pretty much the same thing, you know. But the thing that I had to realize is, if you want to really make money. In the DJ business, you got to learn how to sell yourself. And the reason why I learned that is because I worked for so many other DJ companies. You know, that's what that's what I was doing. I only knew the music. I only knew about keeping the crowd hyped up and everything. I didn't know anything about actually selling myself because the major DJ companies that I worked for, they were doing all the selling for me. They were doing it all. All they would do is just send me a contract, let me know how much I was getting paid, Where's the event, the time, what do they need me to do, the type of music. I go do the event and I get a check later on. Not knowing anything about the sale, how much was really getting paid or anything like that. All I was doing was working for other DJ companies. They would send me out to events. I didn't do no selling whatsoever. I just focused on the music part. And <clears throat> to be honest with you, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you feel like as a DJ or whatever, you don't really want to learn the sales side of it. You don't really want to learn how to sell yourself. You don't want to learn how to talk to clients and everything. And you just want a, another company to do that for you. Or you want your manager to do that for you. If you have a manager or some type of booking agent, that <clears throat> that's totally fine. I totally understand that. But the one thing is you got to understand, nine times out of ten, if you got a booking agent, you're a famous DJ. You know, a lot of a lot of DJs that do a lot of local stuff, they they don't have booking agents. You got to pretty you got to be up there pretty much on the roster to have a booking agent. So then if you really don't have a booking agent, you're still just basically DJing for for other companies. You know, you're basically DJing for other people and they're paying you what to, what they say that they're going to pay you. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you really want to advance if you really have, really want to advance yourself, your company, you're starting to tell yourself, you know, you know what, I don't want to be looked at as a DJ no more. I want to be looked at as a, a CEO, you know what I'm saying? I want to be looked at as a company, focus more on the company and less on the individual. Then you got to start learning sales. You have to learn how to sell yourself. You have to learn how to book your own clients. You have to learn, you have to learn all of that type of stuff. You know, I remember when I um, when I told myself, you know, I want to finally start getting my own clients. I want to start learning the process of actually doing this stuff. The hardest thing it was for me, and it's weird because as a DJ, you know how to talk on a microphone. You can talk in front of hundreds of people. But the hardest thing for me was actually talking to the clients. It was booking the clients. It was actually knowing how to sell I remember I started posting my gigs on um, on Craigslist, and you know I started posting my services on Craigslist or whatever. And I remember the first time somebody called me, <clears throat> it was this lady. She was trying to book a DJ for her daughter's Sweet Sixteen or whatever. But I was so 
nervous. I was nervous. I was st 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 stuttering, doing all types of stuff, messing up on the pronunciation of my words, all of that stuff. Because I was so nervous because I didn't know how to sell. But you know what? I don't even think I don't think I even got that gig. But the thing that I end up learning from it is the more clients I begin to talk to, the more I begin to understand. The less nervous I got, the more I knew how to I knew how to speak. You know, I wanted people to get a representation of me when they when they call. For example, <clears throat> when somebody calls me, this is how I pick up the phone. Um, thank you for calling Entertainment to Remember DJ Services. This is Manson Miller speaking. How may I help you? Right there, right there. But I had to I had to learn that. I had to learn all of that through trial and error. That's all how it goes. You know, you really have to learn how to sell yourself. Don't worry about being nervous because just like anything in life, the more you do it, the better you get at it, the less nervous you are. So then what I started to do is I started learning how to sell myself. I started posting on Craigslist. I started um, looking up DJ vendor sites, wedding vendor sites, and I started posting my services on all of them. Every single one that I could, I would post it on it. Then I started learning how to... Um, I started learning how to make deals through emails. I started learning how to make deals through uh, talking over the phone. It just came after. It just came after time, and that's when I started realizing that's where the big money is at. Because most of the time, when another DJ company sends you out, most of the time, say if you're getting paid three hundred dollars, most likely that company is getting paid six hundred dollars. So they're paying you three hundred, and they're pocketing three hundred dollars, and that's how it goes. It's nothing. Don't get me wrong, it's nothing wrong with that. Because believe me, when I was doing them type of gigs back then for those DJ companies, that's the amount I was going to be making anyway. I ain't know how to make no $600. I was only going to be making two, dollars $300 anyway on my regular gigs. So um, I didn't have any problem getting paid that. And plus with that money, that hell, I used that to end up building my company. So I didn't worry about the loss. I didn't worry about what the other uh, DJ company I was paying me, how much they were making focused on what that I didn't care about any of that all I cared about doing was a ridiculously good job and getting my money so I can invest my money into my company so I can learn how to make real money once you actually learn how to sell then you know you start getting four five hundred dollar gigs six hundred dollar gigs eight hundred dollar gigs thousand dollar gigs there's no limit but I would have never known that if I didn't if I didn't start learning <clears throat> How to be a salesman. How to sell. That's what you are. If you're a DJ, yo, you are a salesman as well. You are. And if you're nervous about it, don't even worry about it. Everybody is nervous when they first start learning how to sell. But if you really want to make DJ money, if you really want to make money where you actually living off of your DJ money, you got to learn how to sell yourself. You got to learn it. Learn how to sell yourself. That's how it's going to go. That's how you're going to get the money. And if you don't know how to sell, look at videos. Go on YouTube and look at videos on how to sell. Look at um, books on how to sell. Look at your, your DJs that, you know, that are mentors to you. DJs that got um, major DJ companies that don't mind giving you the game. They don't mind teaching you, like, this is how you sell to a client. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to give you all one tip right now. That, um, you know, one of my um, upper DJs gave me, you know, told me, um, my homeboy DJ Genius told me this. And I ain't going to, it was one of the greatest pieces of advice, still working to this day. And he told me this like three years ago. All right. For example, when you're booking a new client and you want to, you may not want to bust them over the head with the charging them. You know, you're still lower level, you know, but you want to, but you don't want to stay at that price. A lot of times you can charge a client a certain amount of money. And they feel like that amount supposed to stay there forever. You know, that's how they, they feel like that amount supposed to stay there forever. But you don't want to get caught in that. That's what makes you not want to DJ anymore when it gets to the point where you feel like you should be kidding. You should be getting paid way more, uh, a lot more money than what you're currently getting paid. That's when you don't like it anymore. So this is what you do. You give them a first time client discount. You know, we're giving you a first time client discount of... 35% off then the next time they come to you you get a second time client discount of 25% off then the third time they come to you you get a third time client discount of 
fifty I mean fifteen percent off. By then, by by the time you done did their four fifth gig, now you're at the point where you're making the money that you actually want to make, and they don't have a problem with that because first of all, they love the simple fact that you was giving them um, first first client. I don't know if I said employee, but first client discounts um, throughout all these events. So they already know exactly where the price is going so you don't have to worry about that because a lot of DJs, the thing that demotivate them is when they charge a client this certain price and this client keeps using their services but the price isn't rising. And you don't want to raise the price because you're too afraid of losing the client but at the same time, you know you didn't want to charge them that low price in the first place some years ago. So you add that little thing in there. You give them um, first time client discount, second time client discount, third time client discount. By the time they on the four fifth gig, <laughs> you ain't got no more discounts. You gotta pay the full. You gotta pay the full price now. And the, they gonna appreciate the simple fact that you um, that you was giving them a discount the entire time. That's how it's gonna go. That's how you keep getting the sales. That's how the sales are gonna come in. Sales are so important. So like I said. If you want to learn more about sales, you know what I'm saying? First of all, I need to tell you right there, you need to go and get that book, How Not to Be a DJ But an Entertainer. You know what I'm saying? I even got a little, I know it's like there, I ain't got a major part on sales, but I do got some parts on sales. So you need to go get that book, How Not to Be a DJ But an Entertainer by DJ Mason Manson Miller. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go out there and get that book. But um, sales, look at the videos get books on that that's everything i did i didn't know how to sell so then i got on youtube i started watching all the videos on how to sell i started getting books on um how to sell you know and everything that i learned in the videos i started using it on the new clients that was contacting me because i was giving out 10 business cards a day so no matter whether a client would call me and i didn't get to sell or not it was all practice for me i began to learn you know, it's it's crazy the things some of the things that I learned in school with communication, I still apply that. You know, for example, if a client is calling you, you cannot sound you can't sound bad. Well, if any client is calling you, you can't sound bad. But the thing is you really can't sound bad because you're a DJ. You're an entertainer. You know, so then if a if a client calls you, you better pick up the phone happy, cheerful get up if somebody is, if a client is calling you do not sit down if somebody is a potential client is calling you do not sit down grab your phone stand up walk around while you're talking and have a smile on your face and i'm telling you they can tell the difference it makes a whole lot better when they feel like okay the energy is good on the microphone um, I mean, uh, not on a microphone. The energy is good over the telephone. I'm feeling a good vibe. The man, this man seems upbeat. He seems happy. This is the DJ I want for my uh, Sweet 16. Or this is the DJ I want for my wedding. Or this is the DJ I want at my club. Or this is the DJ I want for my husband's or my, uh, my grandmother's or my mother's surprise birthday party. It all starts at the microphone. I mean, not the microphone, but the, the telephone, cell phone. That's step one. You know, you got to learn how to, you got to, you got to, got to talk from that stomach, not that, um, not that voice, not that, um, throat, talk from your stomach, you know, but you want to feel good while you're talking to these people because that's how they're going to hire you, you know, because the way you talk, um, the way you talk over the phone to them, that's how they feel like you're going to talk to all their guests when you're entertaining. You're already selling yourself. The selling starts as soon as you say, thank you for calling entertainment to remember DJ services. This is Manson Miller speaking. How may I help you? Right there. They already feel good. They're like, oh, wow, that's professional. That's professional. I already trust this guy. <laughs> and, that, and that's basically how you got to do it. That's, you know, that's a sale. So like I told you, you know, watch the videos. Get the, get the books on selling. You know, you really want to learn how to sell if you really want to be a, a, a profitable DJ. That's how it's going to go. You're going to have to learn how to sell yourself. There's other things you can start doing. You can advertise your DJ company on various websites. You know, you're going to have to pay that money, but you put your company out there. That's what's going to get the people calling in. You have to see what's going to work for you. Sometimes the things that you think are not going to work for you is the things that end up working for you. And the things that you thought was going to work for you didn't work for you until years later on. Boom. For example... I remember, uh, I remember Craigslist. Craigslist, I feel like it was horrible for me. 
because every time I posted my services on there, I was always getting calls from fake promoters or somebody trying to sell me something, you know, and then half the gigs that I got from Craigslist, they were scams or you had to end up arguing for your money. You know, it was it was too much craziness. So I stopped posting on Craigslist. It didn't work for me. This is at a time where I'm posting. I'm trying to post on every single vending website I can because I really wanted to get clientele calling me in. So then I'm going to tell you, this is what I did. And I did this with Groupon. I'm sure Groupon has changed a lot now. This was a good, I don't know, four years ago. You know, better four or five years ago. You know, but I'm sure Groupon has probably um, changed now. But I used to advertise my services on Groupon, sell it through Groupon. And it was horrible because the money was ridiculously bad. First of all, they made you they made you charge a very, very low price. You couldn't charge more than, I think, $189 for four to five hours of DJ services, you know. So then they would do that. And out of that $189, you would get about, you would get $70 after you DJ the event. And then about three weeks later, you would get another $20. So then you get 50%. You get no more than maybe $91, $92 or whatever like that. And that used to happen. I was like, oh, my goodness, how am I going to make money off of, off of this if the clients are calling me for that? It was, it was horrible. But I wanted to get clients. I wanted to learn how to sell, so I did it. And plus, it was one thing a salesperson at Groupon told me that made me end up going for the service because I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it at all. This person harassed me for like weeks, kept contacting me about advertising my company on Groupon. This person was pers persistent because no matter what, I didn't want to do business with them. But he convinced me to it anyway because he just kept contacting me, contacting me. So then I finally ended up going through with it. I started getting gigs. I was making that little money. But the one thing the salesperson told me that made me go with it, that really stood out. He said, listen, you're going to get this little money for, these, uh, for DJing and everything, but look at all the new clientele that you're going to get when you dj these gigs make sure that every single person there leaves there with your business card so that when they contact you they're contacting you through your prices they're not contacting you through us this is a great way for you to start your company and everything i was like okay all right i get out of try it. let me try it out so i did it with groupon i started getting the calls coming in and that's what i did Every time I DJ an event, I made sure every single person left there with my business card. You know, that's how I started getting all that new business coming up in. I didn't like the little money I was making with Groupon. No, I didn't like it. But I had got so many new clients from doing it, it didn't matter. All that money was made up in the long run. Now, step two, let me tell you, this is the second thing I did. Now, of course, I got tired of making that little money with Groupon. I wanted to figure out how can I make my own money or whatever. So... When people contact me, I would tell them that, hey, listen, you can go through Groupon, Groupon if you like, but I would just like to tell you that, you know, out of that $200 you're paying, I'm only getting paid about 70 bucks, you know, or you can just go directly through my company and just pay a little $25 deposit and go ahead and secure your day and pay the remainder of the balance on the day of your event, something like that, you know, and it worked. And the main reason why it worked is because so many people didn't know that Groupon was making that much off of you. You know, they're just like, man, you're getting 70 bucks out of 200. That's probably not even going to make you entertain as good because you know you're only making this little money. That makes them even more want to just pay you directly, especially if they know you're doing good business. They haven't got any bad reviews on you or anything. They'll book straight through your company. They just want to know that they can trust you. So that's what I started doing. So then... Of course, not everybody jumped on that. I would have some people call me and would, you know, say, well, hey, I want to go through Groupon or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that and this and that. I was just like, OK, whatever. You don't have to book my services, you know, but a lot of them did book the services. And that's when the real money started coming in. That's when I was able to hike up the prices. You know what? The, I had to actually the one thing I had to learn from that when my prices started going up. I started advertising on all different types of sites, but Groupon is the one that really started making that money for me. So then, um, th but the only problem was Groupon was bringing in that clients, but it was bringing in the little money clients, the low clients. You know, it was it was okay for a start off. It got me a lot of new clients, but I know I could do more. So then, as my prices started going up, you know what would happen? 
a client will call me for something, call me for a gig or whatever, and I will say it's going to cost about three twenty-five, three fifty, maybe even four hundred dollars, and then they would want to book the service, and then a couple hours later they would contact me and say, "Hey, I see your services on Groupon for a hundred and seventy-eight dollars. Why don't I just book you through Groupon?" And I had to say, "Listen, Groupon is not used for the weekend events. That's just Monday through Thursday." Because those are, those are our slowest days. But I started realizing, you know, in order for me to level up and go to that next level with the DJ and with making the money and everything, I had to get off of Groupon. So then I had to call Groupon and tell them, you got to take me off of your website because my company can't grow at those low prices. Then once I did that, it didn't matter where you searched online. My prices were all the same. That, that I didn't have to worry about that. All the, the money just still kept coming in. So regardless of what... It's sales. You got to learn how to sell yourself. That's how you're gonna do. You're gonna have to learn how to write out invoices. You're gonna have to learn how to write out write out contracts. And if you don't know it, don't feel bad. Just do your research and learn about it. I remember my first contract I put together, and I was using it for a while. And then um, at the time, I was dating a girl who was a fellow DJ, was on way more on a, a higher level than I was. And I showed her my contract, and she said that it looked like a contract for a 10-year-old, you know? <laughs> I didn't know anything about writing contracts. You know, she had to end up helping me out on putting, putting together a real contract. You know, one of the crazy thing is, I remember when I started having more corporate clients, they would say, okay, send us your contract, okay, and send us an invoice. In my mind, I thought a contract and an invoice was the same thing, you know, but it, it isn't. A contract is uh, one thing and an invoice is another. I had to learn how to write invoices. Of course, they already had that on Microsoft. Made it very easy for me. Now, when a client calls you, you got an invoice you send them. You got a contract that you send them. Your contract has your logo on it. Your invoice has your logo on it. It makes you professional. It makes them want to do more business with you. It makes them know that, okay, this guy is not only a DJ, he's a salesman. He knows his money. That's how you're going to end up making big money in a DJ business, man. you got to learn how to be a salesman. If you want everybody else to um, do the sales for you, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. If you don't want to be a salesman and you just say to yourself, you know what? I just want to focus on the music part of it. I just want to focus on the music part. That's totally fine. But you know what? That means you only, you always and only going to be getting 50% of what you can be getting. I mean, you're only getting 50%. You're not getting 100%. You're only getting 50%. Maybe 60, 70%. No, no more than 70. So then if you want to really learn this business, you got to learn how to sell yourself. You got to learn how to become a salesman. You know, because it's just like, and it's just like in a real world with artists, rappers, and singers and everything. All the singers and everybody that sold, I just want to focus on the music. But then they put out all this great music great catalogs and you wonder why they're broke because they never learned the business side of um music they never learned their contracts they didn't know what their manager was doing they didn't know what their accountant was doing everybody's screwing them out of their money and they don't know why because they just want to focus on the music side and not realize that music is business djing is business djing is sales Okay, so if you're saying to yourself, you want to be a DJ for the rest of your life, this is what you really want to do, this is how you want to provide food for your family, um, provide a shelter for yourself, then you got to learn how to do sales. You got to learn how to be a salesman. You cannot be, you cannot be a successful DJ and not know how to sell. All right, even if you only part owner of the company and you don't even do none of the sales part, you still got to know how to sell. You still got to know sales. All right. The buyers, people that buy everything, those are the people that don't got no money. The people that sell everything, those are the ones that got the money. You, you got to be a seller. You want to be financially free, you got to be a seller. That's the one thing I told myself with my company. I want to be financially free. I learned how to sell. I learned I went and got all the books. I went and got um, the um, Grant Cardone um, all of them cats, you know, I started listening to the videos. I started buying the books. I did anything that I, I could to become become better at it. You know, I kept doing all the DJing. Kept learning more sales. You got to learn this stuff, all right? If you want to get better, you got to learn how to do sales. 
Because if you don't, you always just going to be getting a percentage. You're going to do all the work, but you're only going to get a percentage. When you start doing the sales, you start knowing your own value. That's the problem with a lot of DJs. They don't know their own value. Man, I know DJs that they are some of the best DJs in the best DJs I've ever heard in my life. I wish I could DJ as good as they do. But they just know the music side of it. They don't want to know the business side of it. With that, always getting played, always getting screwed over because you don't know the business side of it. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with staying up and creating mixes all night. That ain't nothing wrong with that. But learn how to put a contract together. Learn how to put an invoice together. Learn how to learn how to talk to a potential client. Learn how to walk into a business and give them your business card. Give them your um, your brochure. Give them your pamphlet. You don't have to um, you know learn how to walk into a school and um, you know talk to the um, talk to the teachers or whatever or whoever puts together the. Um, the um the events the PTA learn how to bring your services to them learn them know that you're you're kid friendly okay learn how to sell yourself when you start learning how to sell yourself the money you make it now is going to double when you start learning how to sell yourself the money you make it is going to be double yeah, man, man past DJing no matter what it is that you do in life whatever you whatever it is that you do when you start learning how to sell you're going to make double or triple the amount. I've done double. I've done triple. I've done quadruple. I've made amounts that I can't even fathom. I'm just like, I cannot believe I actually made this amount just from DJing. But you know what? If I was DJing through another company and I was um, doing them gigs to another company, I would have been getting paid them big amounts. I still would have been getting paid one-fifth of that. You know why? Because I had no idea how much they were getting paid. As simple as that. And like I said, ain't nothing wrong with that. I do that. I got DJs that I send out there and I'm making... Well, no, I, I try to pay my DJs more. I try to get my DJs at least 60 70% when I send them out to gigs because I'm not greedy. I'm all about loyalty. If you can do a good job and you can represent my company, you can represent that, that ETR, that entertainment to remember. Like I represent it, rock your uniform, making sure your, everything is all clean, giving the best you can for the client, I'll keep booking you forever. I'm not worried about the money. I'm worried about the loyalty. Because you can send DJs out here and next thing you know, they're trying to promote their own business or whatever, this and that. That's not what I'm about. All right? You got to keep this about you. I got DJs that, you know, get down with me that I love sending them out to events because clients always giving me a good review on them. I ain't never got to tell them nothing. They already know. Rock the uniform. We bring this professionalism. We, we, uh, we got the presentation. We got the button up and the tie once we start DJing because they know I deal with corporate clients. But then I got I got DJs and I gotta tell them over and over, rock your uniform. You know, over and over, make sure to call the client, introduce yourself to the client, talk to the client, make it easier for yourself. That's how you're gonna get a tip. I don't want none of your tip money. Learn how just just that simple stuff right there. I ain't about I ain't the money ain't even a big deal to me. It's about the loyalty. I'll pay you what you want. Just do a good job, man. That's all I want. So um so anyway, you know, like I said with the um so anyway, like I said with the sales, become a salesman. Get the books on it. Learn how to sell yourself and you would not be able to imagine the amount of money that you can be making when you learn how to sell yourself. Learn how to sell as a business. Take a little bit of time from the music side and learn how to sell. It's nothing wrong with sales. People act like selling is the worst job in the world. I remember when I used to sell Comcast cable in college. I used to do telemarketing and all of that. I thought it was the worst thing in the world. But there's so many things I learned from selling. All that stuff I learned from selling Comcast, I apply to my company now when I'm um, trying to sell clients and everything. All of that type of stuff. Selling is not the worst thing in the world. It's the best thing in the world. The people that sell is the ones that keep money in their pocket. The buyers are the ones that got to keep working. You got to learn to be a salesman. A saleswoman, start your own business. It don't matter. Man, just man, create a product or a service that you love, that you're that you're passionate about. That no matter what goes wrong in your life, in your your marriage or your friendship, your jobs, your health, nothing, all of that, regardless of any of that happening, you're still gonna work on this product or this service because you're very passionate about it. 
and then you learn how to sell it. And that's how you get money coming in. Create you a product or a service that you're passionate about. Something you're going to work on when times get hard. Because believe me, they're going to get hard. You're going to feel like giving up. You're going to want to quit. That's why you're passionate about it. It's not about the money. This is a passion. And you're going to go for it. I remember in college, I was so passionate about lights, about DJ lights. And I used to draw all these little scenarios, uh, lights that I can set up and... I will, um, you know, look at all types of lights online that I wanted to buy. And, you know, I wanted to create this club atmosphere every time I DJed or whatever. I was passionate about that. Now I get paid to do that. Now I get paid just to come set up lights. Why? Because I'm passionate about it. They know like, okay, Manson setting up his lights. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Yo, this guy is like an artist when it comes to putting these lights together, you know. And now I get paid big money for it make like I said you want to make sure you're passionate about it learn how to sell get you the books watch you the video damn that get you the book how not to be a DJ but an entertainer you watching me you watching me you need to go get that book you can google it you can Barnes and Noble it. you can Amazon Kindle it how not to be a DJ but an entertainer brought to you by your boy DJ Mason motivation for DJs y'all see that logo motivation for DJs Y'all check that out. Y'all go get that book, man, okay? Because that's what's really going to change it. That's what's really going to change things in your life. You know a lot of DJs out there that don't know anything about sales. Y'all make sure y'all share this video to them DJs. Let them know, man. Share this knowledge. I'm giving y'all the, the game. I'm just giving y'all everything that I learned in a DJ business. That's really all it is. Y'all can take advantage of it or you not take advantage of it. It's totally up to you. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, with this video... Sales, sales, sales. Y'all gotta learn how to sell. Better listen to that. Start listening to that Grant Cardone. Start listening to that um Brandon Draper. You better start listening to them cats. You better learn how to sell. Because that's where the money's gonna come in. That's how you're gonna get the big money. Alright? The salesmen are the ones that buy the big houses. Alright? The workers, they the ones that don't know how the money comes in. They just, you know, they just want that that guarantee that their money is on that check. <laughs> that ain't where that ain't where the money at. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing is, I, you know what I realized? A lot of people like to keep working jobs because jobs because you got that guarantee. You got that guarantee at this time of the week they're gonna give you this check and it's gonna be this amount. You know what I'm saying? You have no idea how much the actual... Because you don't know how, how much money McDonald's is making, how much Walmart is making, how much Waffle House is making. All you know is that I got a guarantee on this Friday, I'm going to get this 500 you know, and I'm going to be able to cash it, and this money is mine. That's, that's all you know. And I want to know how many clients we got. That's what I want to know. I want to know how much we made for the day. That's how you're going to get that money. That's how you're gonna get that money. You know what I realized, man? When you learn how to make your, you learn how to become a salesman. You learn how to sell just sell yourself. You learn how to make your own money. Mm -mm. You ain't worried. You ain't feel, You ain't worried about being uncomfortable about not having that guarantee that that this money. You know, when you start your own business, it's never a guarantee that you're gonna have the amount that you're gonna to need to cover your bills for the next month. But a lot of times, you have way more than that. Sometimes. Man, it's been times where I can DJ one event one day and that amount that I made in that one day, it would have took me two and a half, three weeks, maybe even four weeks to make it at a normal job. That's when I knew it's a lot more money out here than you can ever imagine. There's no shortage of money. There's no shortage of success. None whatsoever. You can go after it. You can do it. But you got to learn that there's levels to this. You want to start learning, hire up on a DJ company, look at the videos, get you the books, get you that book, How Not to Be a DJ But an Entertainer too. but also get you the sales book. Start looking at the videos. Start going to your other DJ friends that may be on a higher level to you and get advice from them. What's a better way for me to sell? What's a better for, way for me to have contracts? Even, even if they charge you and say, I'm going to charge you for giving you this game. So what? So what? That money's going to come back in the long run. Believe me, man, if you do anything, man, I had a mentor that was giving me all types of games. I used to just come by his office and bring him a check here and there. You know, matter of fact, one time the check even bounced. I had to send him some PayPal money. 
with the money for real why because i appreciate the advice because i know i'm gonna make money down the line from it you gotta start somewhere don't feel bad about anything you're gonna be on a whole nother level by the next year believe me i remember them days when uh i remember five years ago i used to be on my facebook and everything and it seemed like every dj in the world was booked but me you know djs they all follow each other on social media but it seemed like every dj had a gig every dj was at a club or doing a wedding or doing this or doing that and i was having i was booked like once a month once every two months and i hated it boy and i got my i got off my ass i got off that couch i got off facebook Okay, I started learning how to sell. I started learning how to how to advertise, how to create business cards. One of the biggest, greatest things I ever did was create a damn website. When I created a website, that's when the clients started rolling in. That's when the corporate clients started rolling up in. So you gotta learn how to be, you gotta learn how to be a salesman. It's okay if you ain't there yet. It takes time. It takes time. You was not gonna be there overnight. It took me years to, you know, just build my company up to where it's at now. And I'm trying to go bigger damn that what we made last year i'm trying to do triple quadruple well as long as you paying your taxes the amount don't matter you can get whatever you know what i'm saying but anyway let me get up out of here and take care of my business for the day all right but listen this your boy dj mason motivation for djs this video was all about sales make sure you share this to your other djs let them know about me Thank you to all my followers, all the DJs showing me love, all the DJs commenting. Y'all make sure y'all go get that book, How Not to Be a DJ But an Entertainer. And y'all make sure y'all tune in for my um for the rest of my videos. Visit my um my Instagram channel, DJ Mason, DJ Mason on Facebook, DJ Mason, um motivation for DJs, everything. You know what I'm saying? Motivation for DJs on YouTube. You type it up, I got the videos on there too. You can share it, you can, you know, you can download it, you can use it with your other videos. It don't matter. I'm just giving y'all the game. Y'all just make sure when y'all use me, y'all show me love, all right? DJ Mason, motivation for DJs. I'm out. Peace.